Good morning. Thanks for joining us here at the uh, New Mobility World. It's the uh, second time I'm here, and compared to two years ago, I have to say uh, it's a very clear sign that the topics we're discussing here in Hall 3 became more and more relevant. And if I look at the quality and the maturity of the services which are shown here, I also see um, a quite a development compared to two years ago. But why are we all here? We are all here because we have long-term business relationships to the automotive industry, or we are part of the industry. And the changes that are affecting the industry, they affect us. So in some way, we have to adopt our own business models. And on the other way, we certainly want to support our clients on that journey. And I'll, if I look in the audience, I'm pretty sure that there are many, many experts here in the area of connectivity and e-mobility, ride-sharing, car-sharing, autonomous driving. I guess I don't have to explain those topics to all of you, but let's do a reality check. How many of you have a connected vehicle in the true sense that is uh, equipped with in-car services? How many of you? And how many of those who have a connected vehicle are using in-car services which go beyond navigation and entertainment? Five. <laughs> so if we consider that uh, the majority of you have company cars and you always have the newest model which is equipped, the reality out there looks very different. Connectivity is certainly not at the point where it should be. Availability of services into the vehicle are certainly currently limited to certain OEMs who have invested into this early at the earliest point in time. But there are other reasons to this why I believe there's still a way to go in order to come to a complete picture for new mobility in the true sense. Currently, everybody is trying to do his own thing. All the OEMs are trying to build their own platform, build their own systems, build their own networks. Collaboration is moving, but it's moving slow. And to some of the points of my previous speakers, collaboration will be important. Because at the end, it's not only about the one manufacturer trying to sell his vehicles. It's about public situations. It's about traffic situations in the cities. It's about how to address the ever-changing um, behavior of the consumers moving from ownership to consumption models. And this is something which needs to be addressed by multiple platforms, platforms who actually can work together, can exchange data, can work with a multitude of data, traffic situations, weather situations, car-related data, contextual data, and so on. So this calls out for solutions which are not only integrated out of the box, as we usually stand for at SAP, but also to a collaboration between IT companies, OEMs, suppliers, and partners in various industries to build business networks we can actually address those topics. Trying to visualize this a little bit, I try to bring together the multiple aspects of new mobility as building blocks. On the lowest level, obviously, we talk about technology and platforms. Platforms need to connect. We need to be able to connect any kind of vehicle. We need to be able not only to connect passenger cars, but forklifts, trucks, trailers. We talk about supply chain. There are other people on the street, not just us in our cars. We need to be able to work with huge amounts of data. We need to process the data, not only data coming in, but also data which has been stored over time to come to assumptions and support business people in their decision-making processes. We also need to be able to bridge the gap between software and hardware by partnerships as we have, for example, with Bosch, where we use the strengths of our partners on the hardware and connectivity side and combine it with our cloud platform and our decades of experience in applications. So that's the lowest level. And as I said before, it's not that there will be one platform, one SAP platform that serves it all. There will be many platforms for many vendors, but we need to integrate on defined and agreed on standards that we can actually exchange data to serve the layer which is coming on top, which is the application and services layer. And also here, software becomes more and more important, but also the hardware side needs to be integrated. Looking at e-mobility, you are not done by just um, 
selling a car with a battery. You have to look at the overall experience of the user. That includes charging. Charging includes charging stations and infrastructure. So we partner with EWE, the fifth largest German um, um, energy provider, to work on an end-to-end -end solution to combine fleet management capabilities for electric vehicles with the optimization of the entire charging process. Yeah. Other aspects, uh, if you look at shared economy, ride-sharing and car-sharing. Um, how many of you are using ride-sharing? Oh, quite some. So, in fact, we have many, many enterprises already doing ride-sharing with 2Go, which is an SAP application for many years now. We have more than 100 customers in total using parts of our portfolio for mobility situations. That was, for many customers, the start. Enterprise ride-sharing was the start because of sustainability goals, because of cost reduction in the fleets. But car-sharing now is the next step. So if we talk about those processes, one thing becomes obvious. If I look at the left and the right of this picture, I see electric vehicles and charging processes, and I see ride-sharing, car-sharing on the other side. Do I really want to maintain my master data for one vehicle multiple times? Probably not, because that is also one of the reasons why I didn't see so many hands raising when I asked for usage of digital services. Because if you really want to use many, many digital services in combination, you end up with five or ten apps by different vendors. So it's important to bring those pieces together on an application and services level. We, if we look at the, let's say, the top of the cake, it becomes very obvious that those services are only, um, can only be delivered to end consumers if we have the right business network in place. We need to have the service providers as part of the network if someone asks for a parking service or a fueling service or whatever service you can think about. So we have built a business network by SAP by bringing in parking aggregators, by bringing in fuel providers as part of our ecosystem. We just announced Tam Oil adding more than 400 gas stations in Germany to our business network, now ready to connect the business of the OEM or the fleet manager or whoever wants to deliver end user services uh, as part of his um, uh, business model. So all those things need to come together. And reality is, currently we have separate or um, individual solutions here and there. And for the end consumer, and I'm not talking only about B2C, I'm also talking about the fleet managers, the operators of large fleets, it becomes more and more difficult to bring those pieces together. We bring everything together as part of our SAP Leonardo portfolio. We focus, as part of Internet of Things, on connecting any kind of thing, any kind of sensor, any kind of vehicle. This becomes important if you think about, I want to connect vehicles of any kind, but I also need to include weather data or uh, traffic sensors of any kind if you think about smart city scenarios. We want to do that intelligently by understanding as I was mentioned earlier, earlier, standards which are important for interconnection of cloud platforms. And we want to be able to, to process the data in a smart way to support people. And we need to take people into the equation. We need to have an understanding of the end user. What is his information need? We've been working with our end users now for decades. It's about the user, be it the end consumer or professional user, we need to come from his needs and bring the information to him at the point in time of need. And at the end, obviously, this is what we stand for, the business processes. And it's not necessarily the historical business processes where we are coming from, to bring the truck, the trailer, the forklift into the supply chain, doing track and trace by also understanding the data coming from vehicles. It's also on the end consumer side, billing services, consumption-based billing services, bringing the end user into the business process for either an optimized existing business model or for something which has been innovated and is the business model of the future. We'd like to show you all this at our booth. I'm inviting you to visit us. We have a couple of our customer cases which we can demonstrate to you. So this is real. This is coming.
and I'm looking forward to a few more days here at the New Mobility World. And thank you very much for your attention.